Hello and welcome to the Cryptid Report. My name is Rob and we have an exciting show all lined up for you today. So first things off, we are going to be discussing the Loch Ness Monster. Now, you're probably sitting there at home thinking, Rob, the Loch Ness Monster is fake. It's probably just a buoy or it's probably just, you know, a giant fish that got away from a fisherman or something. Well, we think that we have the video evidence today to prove the existence of the Loch Ness Monster. Now, we're going to go ahead and go to our Jumbotron 3000. And there we go. And so, as you can see from our video footage, we have a giant... Guys, what is this? This is a duck. A duck, not the Loch Ness Monster, a duck. <sighs> moving on. Anyways, moving on with our show, we have some exciting footage from the Far East. Yes, that's right. Straight from Japan, we have a good videotape of a giant lizard attacking, attacking J Tokyo. Now, as you can see from the footage, uh, the giant lizard monster thing is definitely causing lots of death and destruction in Japan right now. So, sad day for Japan. Happy to be living in the U.S. Uh, we have brought in our resident expert on the Bigfoot phenomenon. Now, there's other shows out there that are, you know, trying to sensationalize the Bigfoot phenomenon. And... You know, they might be on those channels that like to deal with the past, present, and alien uh, timelines. But fortunately for here, we have the hard-hitting facts. And I'm going to turn things over to Andrew, our resident Bigfoot expert. Thanks, Rob. Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Gigantopithecus, your Uncle Ted. Whatever you know him by, you know him for sure. The large hairy creature found in North America, in our forest, behind our large rocks, and our out of focus areas. Well viewers, today I have some very special amateur footage for you, and here it is. Now that was some great amateur footage. You can still see the handshaking and the blurriness in the video. This is because it wasn't necessarily shot with a very high quality camera. However, there is a good deal of the blur that it can be attributed to the Bigfoot himself. Our leading science tells us that there's actually a lot of static buildup in the fur of the Bigfoot, which interferes with local electronics, ruins cell phone signals, makes cameras blurry, that sort of thing. Now we can tell by its behavior that it's most likely foraging for food. Big feet love berries and fruits for first and foremost. They will hunt meat if they can find it, but in today's conditions that is ever rare. Now, there is one major question to this video. Is it a hoax? In cryptozoology, hoaxes run rampant, but in my professional opinion, I can come to a few conclusions about this piece. One, the blurriness, if you use the proper scientific mass in Bigfootology, we can tell is the correct level of blur for an actual Bigfoot. Two, you can actually see muscle definition underneath the skin. This means that one, it's a very expensive suit, and let's be honest, most Bigfoot hoaxers do not have that kind of cash. Or two, this is a real Bigfoot. But ultimately, I want to let you, the fans, decide. Now, back to Rob. Thanks, Andrew. Now, be sure to tune in next week when we discuss Area 51. Ooh. And its lesser known cousin, Area 52. Now, we also have a special segment coming up next week entitled Cooking with the Mexican Leprechaun. It's sure to be magically delicious. Has anybody seen my phone? Thought I left it around here somewhere. 
It has been too long of a semester.